Every aspect of this eruption will be analyzed. The explosion, the ash cloud, the shock wave. But one of the first things being studied is simply the timeline. The evidence is suggesting now that the system was priming. Glenn Williams Jones is a volcanologist with Simon Fraser University. He says right now his concern is for the people of Tonga, but that there is an importance to understanding what happened because it could happen again. The Tonga volcano has a major eruption about every thousand years, but when it happens, it doesn't just happen once there's a very good chance that we will have renewed eruptions, maybe not of the same size, the same scale, but uh, this could certainly go on for, for quite a few years. Now, figuring out the sequence of events is going to be important, starting with when the volcano started popping out of the water again. In December of 2014, it created an island between two islands. After several months, it stabilized enough that there were expeditions. Two French explorers who were sailing past the island on their worldwide voyage became NASA's eyes and ears, collecting some of the very first images and samples of the interior island. Now, if this volcano seems small, that's because only a fraction of it was visible. It was actually massive. The part that could be seen was just a small portion of the rim around the crater. It's, it's your iceberg. You know, the vast majority of this volcano is underwater. Now, last month, the volcano started puffing again, letting out pressure. It was being watched. This satellite image was just prior to the eruption and seems to show the middle part of the island had slipped back underwater. This disappearance is very interesting. Volcanologist John Sticks says there are theories as to what happened. It could be that the recent puffing was just pressure building and that led to the eruption. But the fact the island disappeared may mean something else. The puffing could have been the magma chamber letting out pressure until there wasn't enough to hold up the roof. It could have collapsed, leading to the island slipping underwater and then the eruption. So I think time will tell if, if this is the case or, or not, but I think it's definitely at least a possibility at, the, at this stage. Understanding what happened will take time. Satellites only tell a part of the picture. To see underwater and what's left will take ships and sonar equipment remapping the ocean floor. For now, getting close enough to do that is still too dangerous. Mike Armstrong, Global News.